holding elections later this year. Libya has been divided between two rival administrations supported by armed groups and foreign governments. There's been unrest since an uprising toppled Muammar Gaddafi in 2011. Malik Trainer has the latest from Misrata. It's been a long and difficult uh, process to come up with this agreement and this new unity government. Now, Libya has been engulfed as, uh, since an armed revolution toppled Muammar Gaddafi in 2011. Uh, after that, things went quite well for a couple of years. Uh, when this parliament was elected in 2014, uh, they were supposed to be based in eastern Libya. Uh, but around the same time, Warlord Khalifa Haftar began a military operation there to cement his power base. Uh, so many, many uh, MPs, especially from western Libya, uh, boycotted the parliament, citing security concerns. And really, that's when the divisions uh, began. A, a rival, two rival governments uh, began, uh, one in eastern Libya, one in western Libya. Uh, in 2015, the UN uh, facilitated the Libyan political agreement that brought the rival sides together. Uh, they came up with the government of national accord, which is the internationally recognized government here in Tripoli. Uh, but that was uh, after refused to recognize that government, as well as Aguila Saleh, the speaker of the Tobruk-based parliament. Uh, so they've been quite divided, and uh, you know there's been a lot of division also among the international community, which sort of uh, put uh, fan the fire of divisions. Uh, but now we're seeing uh, that the international community are more willing or, or want to see a unified Libya, and M and the MPs after years of divisions were actually finally able to meet, have a session, and give this new national unity government uh, a vote of confidence.